That construction will also cause trouble for students heading back to Purdue University. Things aren't much better for the IU students either. Both schools have major routes in the Indianapolis area that are either blocked or slowed down by construction work. Jeremy Brilliant has what students and parents dropping off will have to face. Indiana and Purdue are serious rivals, but right now the students and their parents who are helping them move back to campus are facing a very similar type of pain, one caused by traffic backups. Moving nearly two weeks before classes begin at IU makes perfect sense. It's going to be a nightmare. It's also a no-brainer in West Lafayette at Purdue. It's just going to be a madhouse, yeah. Both campuses have become islands surrounded by a sea of orange barrels and flashing lights. If you don't come in the middle of the night, you're not getting in town for like three hours. You're going to be stuck on 37 for, at the bare minimum. Indiana 37, the only major route into Bloomington from the north, is down to one lane for construction for several miles south of Martinsville. It was already getting busy this morning. I could tell like there was, you could tell like there's cars that are traveling, you know, packed full with college kids, not just uh, Indy traffic. So I would imagine next week when everyone's moving down, there's going to be hundreds of cars. Then there's I-65 northbound, closed unexpectedly due to the temporary bridge closure in Lafayette. I always take a different way up to avoid the traffic, and now everyone's going the same way because of the bridge dropping. So it was like I was mad the whole way here because everybody's going to be on my road. Purdue senior Bridget Keen is getting some help from her parents moving into an off-campus apartment a full week before the official move in. What do you think next week's gonna be like? Oh my gosh. People <laughs> yeah, that's one reason we're moving in today, because we didn't want to, to deal with it next week, yeah. Advice from a Purdue senior that might benefit students from both schools. You should already be here. <laughs> now, both to the north on I-65 and to the south on Indiana 37, there are detour areas, but keep in mind, thousands of people will be using those same detours, so really just expect a much longer commute. Jeremy Brilliant, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.